The day can be today that your career is over. Now what do you do? I said, I better get to work. <laughs> Rest at the end, not in the middle. And that's something I always live by. I'm not gonna rest, I'm gonna keep on pushing now. There are a lot of answers that I don't have. Even questions that I don't have. But I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna keep going, and I'll figure these things out as we go, right? And you just continue to build that way. So that, I try to live by that all the time. See, in your life, everybody has a turn back moment. You have a moment where you can go forward or you can give up. But the thing you have to keep in mind before you give up is that if you give up, the guarantee is it will never happen. That's the guarantee of quitting, that it will never happen, no way under the sun. The only way the possibility remains that it can happen is if you never give up no matter what. Because God is always coming. He's never too late. Nobody you know, nobody you know, nobody you know has become successful outside of it being given to them from their family. Nobody you know has actually created success without working their face off. It doesn't exist. So you can sit and talk about luck and you can sit and talk about this, that, or the other thing, but I promise you, the only controllable thing you have is your work ethic. I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks. Nothing. Nelson Mandela said, there is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that's less than the one you're capable of living. Now I'm sure in your experiences in school and applying to college and picking your major and deciding what you want to do with life, I'm sure people have told you to make sure you have something to fall back on. Make sure you got something to fall back on, honey. But I never understood that concept, having something to fall back on. If I'm going to fall, I don't want to fall back on anything. I want to fall forward. I figure at least this way I'll see what I'm going to hit. create weak people. Weak people create bad times. Bad times create strong people. Strong people create good times. Without consistency, you'll never finish. So do what you feel passionate about, passionate about. Take chances. Don't be afraid to fail. There's an old IQ test was nine dots and you had to draw five lines with a pencil within these nine dots without lifting the pencil. The only way to do it was to go outside the box. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big, to dream big. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams. Winter's not forever, no pandemic lives forever. Everything changes and everything ends. And the good news about winter is it's always followed by springtime. What follows the night? The daytime. What a cool way to set it up if you were God or the universe. The first thing I do every single morning is I go in freezing cold water. And when you jump in, it never feels good to go in, but getting out, you feel incredible. But I, I do it for a different reason. I do it to train my brain to say, when I say now, it means now. When I say go, we go. I don't stand there because it's cold and go maybe in a minute when I'm ready. But I always do it because I've trained my brain. This is how we work. And if you train your brain to do that every single day, then it'll do it on the more difficult and important things in life.